Two teenagers shot as they're leaving Henry Ford High School. Tonight, police say they were targeted, but they have a good idea of who it is they're trying to track down. Glad you're with us tonight at 11. Both boys were shot twice. Police Chief James White says both are expected to survive. This happened directly across the street from school and just after dismissal. Mar McDonald is live on Detroit's west side. Mar, fortunately, DPSED had officers at the school. They sure did, Kimberly, and that is sort of a standard operating procedure for that department. So you had a DPSCD officer here who actually heard the gunfire. That's why they were able to render aid almost immediately. And just so everybody knows, police from two departments have been out here all afternoon, all evening, just clearing the scene within like the last half hour. Viewer video of the moments immediately following the shooting, one of the boys on the ground being worked on. When you look at how many yellow markers are on the ground signifying shell casings, it's amazing both these boys are still alive. First responders pulled them out, um, tried to keep the blood from escaping and patching up the wounds. Police say they were targeted. No one else is at risk. Uh, no one at the school is at risk. Uh, and we know who we're looking for. This appears to be an isolated incident. This has nothing to do uh, with the school per se, but the conflict that these uh, two groups are having. Right now, police are looking for three young men who were seen driving around the school perimeter several times before the shooting started. Witnesses say they saw them put on ski masks. Easily a dozen shots were fired here. Now, while this was unfolding outside the school, Detroit police, going lights and sirens to get here, got into a crash a little more than two miles away. I guess the police hit them. I don't know. I, I, I came from work, so I don't know how it went. I'm just glad that everybody's still alive. I'm hurt, shaking, just, just nervous, ready to get to the hospital. Back here live. So what caused all of this, this conflict that the chief referenced? Well, neighbors who live along here who helped some of these kids after the bullets started flying because they all scattered, say the children were telling them that, you know, what the greater conflict is here is unclear, but what may have tipped this off is somebody was disrespecting somebody's deceased relative. We're live on Detroit's Northwest Side. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Glad it wasn't worse than what it was, Mara. We appreciate it.